All right, Cold Warriors. In the previous drill, we looked at how to get Prettier installed on VS Code as an extension and how to use it. I um, mean, this drill, we are going to still focus on Prettier, but we're going to actually run Prettier through the command line, which actually gives a lot of flexibility in terms of implementation, you know, anywhere in the software development lifecycle. We'll go over that in a future video, but this drill will focus solely on Prettier running in the command line. So as you can see here, you know, I have this very simple project, um, index.js. It's very messy, completely unreadable. Same here, this file is unreadable, unreadable. So all of these are working code, working applications. If you run it through the Node app, it would work. But, you know, this is unacceptable. So we use Prettier to format all of our JS files. Um, but we're going to actually run it in command line. So let's open up the Prettier um, documentation here, prettier.io. Uh, we're going to navigate to the docs section. And then right here, usage and install. So as you can see, we can install Prettier using npm, and we can actually run it using the node package execution tool right here. So let's go over that. Let's copy paste this command here. What this does is it actually installs Prettier to our local project right here. You see in the package.json, it added the Prettier as a dependency. You know, it locks down the file version right here. And then, you know, in the node module, you see that Prettier is actually installed. We are going to use um, the Prettier executable right here um, to actually run the Prettier formatting on all of our files. So let's follow the steps. Let's echo this. What that does is it creates an empty file, prettierrc.json, which is a configuration file that Prettier can read. And this is right here. And let's ignore this prettier ignore for now. We're actually going to now run the command. We're going to use npx to run the prettier app. Um, let's just run it on index.js for now. So you can give the path or give the file path or give the file name of what you want to actually run. So let's start running that. Ah, some sort of error occurred here. Yeah, so when I was going through this, this didn't make sense to me. Um, and I did a little bit of research. And the issue doesn't seem like it's a prettier issue by default. Um, but you might run into this if you're actually running the same environment. If you're running Windows and if you're using PowerShell here to create um, this file here. So the root cause of this is because this prettier rc.json file that's created using PowerShell, actually the encoding is incorrect. It's, it's encoded as UCF. Two. Um, if we actually change this, the only solution that I found was to change this file back to UTF-8 and then save it. Once you do that, um, Prettier can actually read the file correctly. All right, once you get over this unexpected token error um, and you save the Prettier RC file as a UTF-8, um, you can actually run Prettier now here npx prettier uh, dash dash write index.js so now prettier is going to run its formatting logic onto this file so let's actually see that in action so once i enter voila there we go so prettier actually ran and then formatted our code for us um, we can configure some of these prettier configurations using this json file that we created for example you, know, you can change the tab width to 12 for example. Now we've run mpx prettier dash dash write again. It's going to read this new configuration and then every tab character is going to be 12 spaces. And let's verify that. There we go. You see it keeps changing. So you can do that with any of the prettier um, configurations that you can mess with. Single quotes, let's say it's true. We're going to save this file. And then we're going to rerun Prettier. Okay, so single quotes is true, but it actually didn't do anything. Oh, okay. Did you mean single quote? Yes, I did. Single quote. Save that file. And then rerun it. As you can see, the double quotes are now all single quotes. 
Um, so that is the most basic use case of Prettier um, through a command line. All right, now let's take a look at how Prettier Ignore actually works. So if you've worked with Git Ignore, um, it's very similar. Um, you just define basically any file or folder path or wildcard characters um, in order to define which files to ignore the Prettier logic to run. Um, so we'll kind of go over that. So by default, um, we ran it on a single file, but if we say, you know, run it on this current directory on this current project, it's going to go into every single folder and run prettier on every single um, JS file. So let's see that example. So index.js is formatted. Uh, the one level.js, remember it was all messed up. Now it's prettier. Actually, let's change this to four. 12 spaces is a little bit obnoxious. Let's run that again. So now everything looks good here. Everything looks good. The function looks fine. The functions look fine. Okay, so as you can see, by default, by providing this path, which is a current directory, it runs everything, every J JS file that's nested from this path. But we can define a git ignore file. Sorry, not a git ignore file, a prettier ignore file. Prettier ignore. And in here, whatever we define, prettier is not going to run against it. So let's say I want to ignore this nested file. You would provide that path right here. Save this prettier ignore file. And then I'm going to actually kind of mess this up just so we can see. So in the nested folder, we have this function and this function. At the root, we have this index.js. Let's mess it up a little bit just so we can see how pretty it works. Okay, so if we actually run this now, prettier is going to look at the prettier ignore file and ignore, exclude any file that's defined here. Let's run this function. Okay. So if you run that function, you, as you can see here, it only runs against index.js. It actually ignored um, anything in the nested folder because we defined it here. So if you actually check this file, it looks the same. If you check this file, it looks the same. The only file that was affected is this index.js. I hope that video was helpful, and if you learned something new today, please like and comment on the video with any questions or comments. Please subscribe to our channel for future updates as well. Game on, programmers!